Hey guys, Tim here. Just doing a quick freehand update on the old rig here. Hopefully I got my LED light on here, so hopefully everybody can see everything okay. So obviously the main board, don't have the barbs in yet. Uh, gonna run it air cooling for now. Around the back, if I don't knock everything over, because my cable is hooked. You can see, now the one thing I found so far is it would be nice if there was a different install mechanism on the two um, wireless connections because that was kind of a pain to get screwed in. Um, remove uh, the cage back from its default position over here. Got my XSPC custom painted white by uh, Frozen CPU. Got that hooked in. Stealth my D5 uh, XSPC reservoir with uh, the nice rebranded pump. Up top here we have two of the three Corsair fans that will go up here. The other one's actually still in a machine right now. But we got two of those already pre-installed along with my 360 pre-installed with, you can't really see it, but there's a gasket up here just to help with vibration. And then around the front, you can see we've stealthed the front cover, so nothing sticking through. And there's two more SP120, and they're the quiet variety. And I don't know if you can really see it here either, but there's actually a gasket between this metal bracket and the metal on the, the radiator itself. So just trying to dampen noise where I can. I might actually put some of the leftover foam. This is um, not my favorite direction or config for this. It's, it's a little loose. I'm going to try to figure out, you know, how I can fix that. I guess we'll see. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'll probably shoot Josh a question too. Because you can definitely rotate it. But I really don't want it rotated. So, because you never get a drive in or out of it. So, this is the way it goes. It just, you know, it's a lot of flex. And if you got, you know, four hard drives in there spinning, you might get a lot of noise. So maybe I'll put something, some, I uh, actually have some foam left over from the inserts of this. Put that down below and then screw it down so it compresses it a little harder. That might help. Uh, it'll probably also help once the power supply gets in here, which I'm currently waiting for. And then, of course, over here somewhere are the two R9-290s that are going to go in it. Those will both be water-cooled. But like I said, to start with, I'm just going to hook everything up as air. I just have the radiators in here, so I knew how much room everything would take. I'm just going to use a, um, a 120 liquid cooler on the back here. Uh, to cool the CPU while I'm kind of burning in the system. But that's where I am. So I'll do another build update hopefully next week sometime. I should have the whole system up and running uh, under air. So until then, this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Thank you.